This, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2014 Rolls-Royce Wraith. And of course, yes, these are suicide doors, and yes, they are soft touch clothes, and yes, this is the most powerful Rolls-Royce that has ever been built. I have it in sport mode, I'm turning the air conditioner off. Okay, here we go. Hey, a little bit of wheel spin. You hear how it's doing that? That's not my foot. Yeah. What are you doing? Maybe they could try. Absolutely. Ladies. Would you like to try? Yeah. Lista? Oh, thank Lista? You. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Awesome. Proper demonstration. Absolutely. Nice. Mira. Bien? Bien? It's better. It's better. Awesome. I love Moto Man. Am I a giver or what? He's a giver. I am going to take a page out of Nathan's book and do a bit of a fun turn like that because, let's face it, when you're in a sporty car like this, then it's worth doing. This is a brand new Lexus IS 350 all-wheel drive F-Sport. And of course the question is, is it worthy of that F-Sport badge? Welcome to another episode of Classics Revealed on the Fast Lane Car. And today we have quite the eclectic car collection because the owner of the car we're going to profile also owns several others. So let's start with this. This is a 2013 Mazda Speed 3. A lot of torque steer, a lot of horsepower, but come this way. Check this out. This is a 1991 Bentley Turbo R. No torque steer, but a lot of horsepower. Now behind that garage door is a car that if you watch Top Gear or even Mr. Bean you'll be very familiar with. Coming up next on Classics Revealed where we open up this garage and show you what's behind the magic door. It's really sad if you think about it, you know, because not all cars are born with four wheels. Yeah, yeah, that's Nathan. He does it his way and we get dirty. Now you guys might be wondering, why aren't we taking this thing on any harder off-road trails? And the fact is, it's winter time and this is federal forest land and a lot of it is closed. Switzerland trail just closed. Our normal trail is, uh, well, out of commission because of the flooding. So we're trying to find some new stuff, but uh, no, that was funny, Nathan. Don't need to do it again, really, thanks. this door and if you open this door first and the front passenger is belted in you're gonna choke him so yeah it fits in the garage but it doesn't work as a four passenger or six passenger eight passenger oh, it's so hard to open the door when I was your age they had proper four doors but now they only have the clamshell doors and I can't stand it any longer god damn you <laughs> 